Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. Today I've got a 70 Hemi Cuda in FE5 Red. This car is gorgeous. First, we're gonna take it off with the drive. We're in the 70 Hemi Cuda now. My name is Mackenzie with LaFontaine Classic Cars. And we're gonna get into it. I'm about to put you guys right on my head here. And smooth gearbox very happy hemi we're getting into the the first corner here and i'm already impressed with how tight this thing is i mean just a couple of fingers on the wheel it goes right where you point it this car is tight and the sound of this thing RPMs around 55 miles an hour. This thing can cruise. That power steering doing its thing, as well as the front disc brakes on this puppy. All right, now we're gonna take a deeper dive, give you an up close and in person look. Um, this car is stunning and I'm gonna point out a few things to show you why. So during restoration, it got almost everything new except for that New Mexico body. This is a rust free car, but all of our chrome, our lights, got our innards here refinished in the correct dark argent, looking awesome. We've got new grills, new lenses up under here. Really a sharp car. And we'll pull a couple of these hood pins. And this one's got a two-part latch. Voila. Look at that beast. I uh, love seeing a Hemi under the hood of any Mopar, let alone a Cuda. Um, this one got the works. The engine bay is just as beautiful as the exterior. Um, we've got an aluminum multi-core radiator, got power steering down there, our dual master cylinder. This car is stopping so well, it's because it's got disc brakes up front doing the thing. Got a good looking battery here, that shaker again, chrome valve covers, motor trimmed out beautifully. And then you see a couple of these pretty aluminum lines there. This is for the vintage air kit it has added to it. And this whole front drive is, you know, it's, it's all lightweight, geared toward performance, and the beauty is a nice cherry on top. We've got billet pulleys all in the front of this motor. It even closes like a dream. All right, we'll work our way down the side of the car now. All right, we've got some Firestone wide ovals. This is an FR6015 with the blacked out steely and a dog dish cap. Really tough old school muscle car look. Um, the paint is phenomenal again. You can see my reflection in it everywhere. The gaps are off the charts. Someone took the time and they went all out. All of the bright work everywhere has been replaced. It has an incredible polish on it. And all of our seals everywhere are new too. Oh boy, got some meat out back as well. The Hemi stripe going down the side. And one of my favorite parts of the Cuda is this tail panel. So a nice finish back here, a gorgeous set of uh, exhaust coming out the rear valence, a rectangle stainless tip. This is a really tough sounding car. Ooh la la. 
that opens up very smooth. We got new seals, new little rubber bumpers, everything. Either it got replated or replaced. The theme with this car, um, the body is all original. Components like this, if they could be restored, they replaced them. If they were past their point, they were just replaced. Um, you see we got our jack, our full-size spare, and you hold down, and our jack and wrench are just up here in the left. This is squeaky, squeaky clean, guys. Closes up like a glove on us. Beautiful quarters. And the gaps were not missed over here. I don't know if this would be the last time I ever say it, but this, I think, is the tightest Mopar I've ever driven. Um, and one of the better fit and finish cars I've seen. All right, doors open very smoothly. They're not sagging one bit. This black interior is gorgeous. Um, this car was redone a couple years back, but it looks brand new. Um, the previous owner took really good care of it. And I mentioned this earlier, this was a New Mexico car. Um, probably could have been a, a decent survivor, but they wanted to take it up a notch and tribute that unobtainium Hemi car, which we have here today. Um, you see we got the proper tack, speedo, everything in here as a Hemi car would. Speedo going up to 150. This has the working in-dash clock over to your right. All of our vitals can be metered right there as well, and everything seems to be working really well in our drive, so I dig that. Come down and we have a factory appearing, but it's actually an updated radio that has AM, FM, and an aux hookup, so you can play whatever kind of tune you'd like. And come in just a little bit lower. This is total candy inside of this car. That Hearst pistol grip shifter. Feels so damn good. It looks so damn good. Hard to top that. Dash pad is in mint shape. The finish on the rest of the lower dash here is wonderful as well. Um, they did not miss a thing. We got some rubber mats in here preserving this car up. We've got a new carpet kit as well as you could probably tell and also all new seat covers for the front and back. And kind of neat, you're seeing two buckles here. One is for your lap and then the other is just above for your shoulder. So despite what they say, this car is kind of safe. You got multiple points to hold down. Um, to talk a little bit more about the back here, um, the package tray is in mint mint shape. All of our fasteners are nice and secured. Hardly any rattles in this car. And we have belts for all passengers and a really tight headliner to go with. Thank you for checking out the 70 CUDA with us. Um, it is my treat, this thing is badass, and it is truly this beautiful in every nook and cranny. I got a thick binder with 100 plus pictures throughout the restoration. You can check all of that out and more at the link I'm gonna put down below. This is gonna bring you to LaFontaineClassicCars.com. We put them up in the air, we break down all the stampings. Give it a look there, peace.